Well, we had a very useful discussion uh, with Simon Coveney. Uh, he, he shares our view that we need to see the immediate restoration of the Assembly, the Executive, the North-South arrangements, the full function of the East-West arrangements, and there's absolutely no excuse uh, for the continuation of the boycott uh, of these institutions at a time when the people who have elected us uh, most uh, clearly need our support uh, in the time ahead and where we have resources to try and assist people uh, with the cost of living crisis. Uh, there is a, a, a also a shared view among us that the British government need to honour agreements that is made. That includes the international agreements with the European Union, but it also inclu includes the agreements that they made with us in terms of legacy, human rights agreements which underpin the Good Friday Agreement, and a growing concern that the, the, the consequence of the action of the pursuit of the unilateral action uh, by the, the British government in relation to protocol legislation, supported and encouraged by the DUP, uh, is ultimately going to be a hugely damaging uh, uh, in terms of the Good Friday Agreement uh, and politics here in this part of Ireland. Uh, so we are rightly, I think, uh, share a growing concern across this island that the ultimate objective of some elements of the British government and certainly the DUP is to fatally undermine the Good Friday Agreement with this approach and we're very determined to resist that and to ensure that the institutions which the people voted for here uh, are up and running again in the interests of the people who elected us.